Steven says, I have created a new team and added few users and everything is working fine. All right. What's the problem, Usman? Now I created a new dynamic Office 365 group for another department. When I go to add members section and search for that group, I am unable to find that group or add that group. I am following Microsoft article where it's clearly mentioned that members can be single user, security group, or Microsoft Office 365 groups. I'm not sure what I am missing. So the key word that I picked up on here is that he created a new dynamic group, which dynamic groups you cannot display in a group. So if he would have created just a regular, another regular security group and not made it dynamic, he would have found his group. That's what I picked up off of it. We get lots of head nods. Yes. Yep. <laughs> True. That's exactly what it is. And the funny thing is, is like, so when you go in, it'll say add group and it will tell you you can. Yeah. But it won't find it because it doesn't also tell you, oh, by the way, dynamics groups don't work here. Yeah. Mm. And the article that he's referring to, I know exactly which one it is. And it does say it, but it's using it as a descriptive word, not as a literal word. <laughs> And I think that's the confusion. So there we go. It it's a it, it's becomes a problem when the thing that you're doing is a noun and a verb. Uh, when they're with so naming of products and features matters, Microsoft. <laughs> <laughs> like creating a Teams team, for example. <laughs> a groups group. Groups group. We used to well, have is it, flow but flows. is it an Office 365 group or is it an M365 group? Because if you create an Office 365 group, you know, that might not work at all anymore. Mm. Just don't blow my brain out. I mean, like, it's crazy. It's crazy. So, uh, yeah. Terms, lots of terms, repeats. If I wasn't so heavily medicated, I'd probably care more. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody should Sorry, create. Just, it, somebody needs it's to good create to quote a, a, Final Tap every once in a while. So, so somebody needs to create a dictionary for Microsoft terms. But then it'll change tomorrow. It'll be outdated. It'll be <laughs> dynamic. Let's turn well, that's, why, that's that's why it should be an app. So it's constantly refreshed. It's evergreen. It's in the cloud. There you yeah, go. but if it's a book, you can sell another one, an updated version every day. Revision so, 742 of 2023. Oh, okay. So I, I literally tell everybody, everybody's like, oh, are there any books out there for managed metadata? I was like, hey, I wrote one for 2010 and 2013. Just reuse that because they're all the same. Just, you know, don't look at the configuration stuff because it's on-prem. Other than that, it all still works the same. <laughs> <laughs>